Uh, as I mentioned earlier, Oracle has been evolving its BI strategy. Uh, this tries to illustrate the, uh, the growth pat path for you in terms of how you might see the, the various uh, BI offerings. Uh, all organizations need to use transaction reporting in some way. Um, and for that, the traditional Oracle reports and Discoverer that have been used with the EBS suite um, are a good starting point. Um, when you get to ad hoc query, Discoverer certainly is, is being used, but also the answers capability within OBIE comes into play. Um, again, at the performance management level, daily business intelligence uh, was the sort of legacy uh, solution from Oracle but now you have dashboards within OBIE and you begin getting into some of the EPM capability, balance scorecard, things like that. Um, as organizations become more um, proficient and identify their information needs more specifically and the requirements become more, more demanding, um, ultimately most organizations want to go to even more capability and more sophistication so that's where you might look at OLAP capability, statistical analysis, um, and ultimately predictive analytics where you may want to do Monte Carlo analysis on your revenue uh, projections um, going forward. Oracle now has BI tools that can uh, march this entire path forward. Uh, OBIE you can um, see as being pretty much in the middle of this um, covering a number of these steps on your path. Um, depending on your, where you are with existing Oracle BI tools, for customers that have already been using Discover uh, Financial Statement Generator out of the EBS General Ledger module um, and Daily Business Intelligence, uh, there is the prospect of migrating that kind of functionality, at least in part, into the OBIE world. Uh, Oracle hasn't, uh, except in the case of Discover, has not laid out a direct path, but there are ways to accomplish it regardless. And uh, obviously no one wants to have to rebuild all of their existing reporting um, objects uh, in a new tool. Um, Discover is the, ex the one area where initially when OBIE first came out, Oracle briefly talked about Discover going away and uh, customers immediately protested and Oracle backpedaled quickly and, and identified that Discover was going to be kept on a long-term basis. Obviously, with all the new capabilities in OBIE, uh, there are lots of good business reasons to move to that tool uh, from Discover, but again, no one wants to just throw away all of the reports. Some organizations may, uh, if, depending on how long they've used Discoverer, uh, they may have hundreds of reports that have been developed in that tool. Um, so what Oracle has provided is, a, is an established migration procedure uh, with a conversion assistant utility to migrate uh, Discoverer EULs into OBIE. Um, you'll still probably want to take advantage of the much enhanced presentation layer capabilities in OBIE to, uh, to recast your, your final output, but uh, at least the underlying logical structures that have been developed in Discover can be reused. And so that usually is the heavy lifting in, uh, in Discover is building all of that um, foundation of the underlying data relationships that can be reused in OBIE. So that is not going to be wasted effort. Um, for those customers who've used FSGs, which again are the financial statement generator uh, reporting tool in Oracle GL, um, usually used to develop the, obviously the financial statements, income statement, balance sheet, and similar kinds of uh, fixed format statements. Uh, usually that takes a lot of effort on the part of the end users to develop those reports. Nobody wants to throw them away. Oracle has not provided a direct path However, as an example of the way that the OBIE can be used uh, flexibly, um, you can generate the FSG and then in the EBS suite 
uh, generate it to an XML output, which you can then, in the BI Publisher, uh, make sure that you get the right data in the right format, and from the BI Publisher, import it into a BI dashboard as a report in OBIE. So it doesn't do a full conversion, but it still allows you to take that information, take that existing report, um, that and for those of you who have used FSGs, uh, you're familiar with the fact that FSGs are not a particularly attractive format in their standard form. Uh, they are a legacy from probably 1980s uh, reporting technology. Um, but by the time they get to a, an OBIE dashboard, they can be uh, reformatted and put into um, a picture or a, a box on your dashboard that will be uh, much more uh, accessible to your audience. Um, similarly, DBIs, daily business intelligence that exists in the EBS suite, um, Oracle has not provided a direct conversion map uh, or conversion approach for this. Uh, to a certain degree, DBIs actually represent some competition for their current offering of, of the BI applications, uh, which obviously represent a, a significant investment. Uh, so Oracle is not going to likely make it simple to take existing um, technology and, and load it easily into your OBIE world. Uh, however, again, given the flexibility of OBIE, DBIs are constructed with a, uh, a whole uh, structure of materialized views within the applications. Those views represent the logical structure of data source to how the, the data elements uh, relate to each other. Those views can be used to build a physical and logical layer for the OBIE tool that should save some steps in the process of having to replicate or approximate those DBIs. Um, the presentation, again, in OBIE is much more flexible than um, in the existing DBI world, but um, that the, at least the physical logical layers can be uh, accelerated by looking to the underlying uh, views that generate the DBI uh, components. Uh, obviously, you'd still want to do some basic analysis to make sure that, in your case, the data that you'd be getting is what you ultimately want to have incorporated into your OVIE. And with that, uh, th that ends this presentation. We thank you very much for your attention. And uh, again, my name is Stan Corwin with Dark Corporation. We uh, obviously, in this kind of a presentation, we can't take questions directly, but we would encourage you, if you have any questions, would like to talk to us about any of the topics covered today, uh, please email us at sales at dark.com, S-A-L-E-S, -E at D-A-R-C dot com, or give us a call on our 800 number, 877-476-7151. Again, 877-476-7151.